just starting on the evangelistic field, driving. I'm so little, so I'm have to go. I was so little back then. I don't remember, so I have to go about his description. A piece of junk. They wouldn't hardly know. You didn't know from day to day if it was going to run. And he was evangelist, Jimmy Swaggart. You can't hitchhike. Got to have a car. But the car was a piece of junk. And finally it looked like it went up. And Dad said, I got to have a miracle. He went and got a bottle of oil. Give me a bottle of oil. What kind of car was that? Same bottle of you. That's the same. <laughs> and it's available today for a donation. What kind of car was that? Plymouth. Oh, oh they, don't even make a, they don't even make them anymore. Plymouth. It was missing, smoke belching, burn valves, and he had no money. We didn't have the money to get it fixed. No, no money. You heard it. No money. That's when we're living in that stinking little house trailer, isn't it? Oh. Oh, you had a house. Okay. Was it that ugly green one? In, was that that old ugly green house in, in, in Wisner? Don't talk about my house like that. <laughs> I can remember that. It was an ugly, cute green. Whoever painted that house needed to be fired. Look, that, that whole, the, the house, it, it gets fit right up here. I can show, I, I can remember it because I'd get in trouble. I remember one day, mother got on me for six, I was six years old, and she said, if, now, if she got, there's something about my mom and dad. They were never one to say, if you do that again, I'll spank you, and then never spank you. If they said, if you do that again, I'll spank you. It was coming. The wrath of God was coming. They kept their word. And and I I I've been doing I've been doing something. Mother told me something. Donnie, don't you do that again. If you do it, now here what she would do, she would go outside and break off a switch. <laughs> Using no belt. I'm going to get me a switch. You know, when she's swinging, shoo, shoo, like Zaro. And so, I did it again. And I mean, she ran out of that house. She grabbed, she broke that switch up. And I ran past her, said, na, 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 you can't catch me. And then I ran, I ran away. To the end of the yard. And she just stood there looking at me. She's smart. Oh, she just said, you got to come back sooner or later. And I did. I tried to stay out there as long as I could because I knew the wrath of God. Boy, she did too. But, I mean, it, it, we didn't have any money. He was working for the state and preaching whenever he could. And he pulled that old Plymouth. I'm talking about a, He's the God of the impossible. <laughs> pulled that old broken down Plymouth under a tree, took a vial of oil, put it on his, flipped that oil on his finger, opened the hood of that Plymouth, stuck his finger on that engine, said, God, I got no money. I can't pay to get it fixed. It's falling apart, and you have got to heal it. You've got to heal it. Prayed the prayer of faith, slammed the hood down. God is my witness. Walked in, opened the door, slid behind the wheel, put the key in and cranked it over, and it ran like a singer sewing machine. <laughs> Woo! 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 God can do anything. And, and, oh, the anointing 
was like, it's, but, and oh, well, this is this is the second part of that though. Just that just popped into my mind. It was running great, and then Jerry Lee, at that moment, he had the number one song in the world. You shake my nerves, and you rattle my brain. Oh, yeah. Yes, the old hymn of the church. <laughs> the church of losers. The first church of the losers. And I mean, he was making, at that time, 19, early 50, he was making $10,000 a day. And that's the equivalent of what? About, about $200,000 a day now with inflation. And he came back home to visit off of a tour, saw that old Plymouth and said, Jimmy, you're a preacher of the gospel. You deserve a better car. I'm gonna buy you a car. And he said, let's go to Natchez. That's where the dealership was. They're driving that 10 miles to Natchez and that car was just purring. <coughs> and all of a sudden, Jerry Lee said, you know, this car's running pretty good. And then in daddy's heart, he said, God, forget everything I asked for. Break this car down. 